Hey guys, I'm so happy that you are here today. We are going to be doing a homeschool update today. So I decided to make this update video because I feel like there's a few things that I want to talk about, about how homeschooling is going, what we've changed, what we're doing going forward. Um, and that kind of thing. So my first change that has happened um, probably in the last couple months is we stopped doing our morning basket. It wasn't like a strong reason for this. We just kind of weren't loving that time of the day and it felt like just extra. In our morning basket, we had um, More Than Words by Jessica Spooner, which is a Bible curriculum, which we are not really doing anymore. Um, I feel like it's a little young for Lacey. Like she's just not really all that interested in it. It's a little bit boring for her because it's a lot of just like coloring pictures and stuff. So I think her being in fourth grade and her being nine years old is just a little bit young. And I feel like it would be better geared towards me like first, second, third graders. I also keep handwriting in the morning basket, but I don't really see a reason to have a whole morning basket for just handwriting. I just give her the handwriting to do before her lesson. Um, and then our read alouds in our morning basket, which I just kind of randomly pull that throughout the day. And it's usually not first thing in the morning. It's usually an afternoon thing when we do our read aloud. So we just didn't really feel a need for the morning basket at this time. We may go back to it eventually. I just don't see a need for it right now. The second update I have for you is that Lacey officially finished her math course book number one. So there's two books in her curriculum for math this year. So she's officially finished the first one. Um, a few weeks ago she finished it and she was really proud to have finished it. So we're a little bit over halfway in the year and we're very excited. We've already moved on to math course book two from The Good and the Beautiful. She's doing level three um, and it's going really well. She really enjoys the hands-on things that that math incorporates. She likes being able to use manipulatives and play games and just like the bright and colorful things always attract her attention and make doing math a lot more fun for her. Language arts, we're doing language arts, good and the beautiful, level three, and it's going really, really well. The one thing I will say about the language arts curriculum is that there are a few journal entries that'll prompt at the end of a lesson. There's actually quite a few journal entries and Lacey isn't a fan of writing per se and especially not like a journal prompt type of writing. She's just not really interested in them. They're kind of boring to her and she it's always a point of stress in our day when those pop up and I have her do those. There's always tears and I just kind of came to the conclusion that it just wasn't worth the stress. So I stopped making her do the journal entries. We don't do any of them anymore and I just have her write in a different, um, more her style type of way. One way that I get her writing is I'll throw on a nature documentary and have her write like a page of facts about the documentary. The other thing we use is Once Upon a Pancake, which is a fun kind of like interactive story prompt where they start off with part of a story and you kind of continue the story. But we kind of do it as a family. And so I'll write a few sentences and then she'll write some sentences and then I'll write and we'll take turns. And she really loves doing that. And then the other thing that we're doing is a mother daughter journal. And so we've continued with that as well. So she is writing. And since cutting those required journal entries out of the curriculum for her, um, she actually has taken it upon herself to write in her free time, which blows me away. She actually took it upon herself and the initiative to start a like animal research journal. So she grabbed a blank notebook and she picks a, a unique animal of some kind and she writes down things that she already knows about them because she knows a lot about animals. She really likes animals. So she'll write some facts about the animal. And then she'll also do like a little uh, Surrey on, on the iPhone search, like how fast does a cheetah run? And Surrey will tell her and so she'll write that. So she's kind of like researching a little bit and then writing and then she'll draw a picture of the animal and she's done quite a few pages of that all on her own. I never made her do that. We also started our marine biology unit this month and we are loving it. We're currently using the marine biology unit from The Good and the Beautiful and loving it. 
Um, it's actually, you can download it for free, the PDF version on their website. So definitely check it out. But we are really, really loving it. Um, she's very engaged and interested in that. And even Emmett and Isla kind of join in on that. When we have like science experiments and that kind of thing, they enjoy it as well. We're also planning a trip to the aquarium next week to go along with our marine biology unit. So field trip time and we're super excited. The aquarium in our state kind of near us a little bit um, is doing a homeschool week. So they have a discounted ticket price for homeschoolers. So we are going next week to check that out and they're so excited about that. Also for Emmett, he is doing really well with school. He still loves it so much. We're still doing the Busy Toddlers uh, playing preschool curriculum and that's going really, really well. We're in the transportation unit and he's enjoying it. But I find that he kind of, um, after we're done with the lesson for the day, often wants more school. He wants to do more. So I actually ended up pulling down his curriculum that I have already purchased for next year, which I purchased the Good and the Beautiful Pre-K for next year for him. And so I've actually already pulled that down and he's done quite a few lessons in that. I think we're on like lesson 10 or 12, somewhere in there. And he's really liking that as well. And that's a little bit more um, sit down book He's got to like write with a pencil kind of thing. And so it's definitely different for him, but I think he's enjoying that aspect. And I don't push him with this. I wait for him to ask if he wants to do that part of it and I'll bring it down if he does. And I will also let him go for as long as he wants. So sometimes he'll do like three lessons, four lessons, and then he's kind of over it. And then other times he just wants to do it for a little while. So we'll only do like one or two lessons and then he's, he's good. But just to kind of, I just follow his lead on that. I don't force him to do that. Um, it is a little bit advanced for where he is right now because it's going into the sounds that the letters make and he's still kind of learning what the letters are. So I'm definitely not pushing this curriculum on him right now. Um, I just kind of go with it if he, if he feels like he wants more. We have also been doing some Black History Month stuff this month and so we've done um some documentaries that we've watched we've done we've printed some like worksheets and activities from teachers pay teachers you can find a bunch of resources on there even free ones that you can just print um we've learned about like ruby bridges we watched that um, movie on disney we watched um hidden figures on disney and we've learned quite a bit this month about black history and Lacey's really enjoying it. And I feel like it's definitely opening her eyes up to um, situations and views and giving her the ability to form her own opinions about those kinds of subjects. Okay, so that's pretty much all for like the updates. I have actually already started planning for next year. I've already bought quite a few little pieces to our curriculum for next year. And then I've also been doing a ton of research on different curriculum and different books and stuff that I want to maybe use for next year. I haven't made final decisions on everything yet. Um, we do have quite a few books already though. That's really fun. I love researching curriculum. I think it's really interesting and I get really excited about it and I'm already excited to start next year. I like don't want to take the summer off. I just want to keep going, but we will take summer off. But I just, I'm really excited about the curriculum choices for next year. So I hope you enjoyed this update and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.